to write this out because I have the memory of a goldfish. So. <laughs> First, I just want to say thanks, Dante, for the honor to just be your best man. Um, it's, it's a pleasure, brother. The first time I heard about Dante was when I moved back to the States, and he was described as a man who was on fire for the Lord. I saw how sensitive he was to the Holy Spirit and his desire to learn. Several months later, after growing in discipleship and theology, he became a roommate. Now, when I say roommate, I don't mean like he just lived in my house, like... He was my roommate. Like, we shared a bunk bed. So. <laughs> uh, and even though I had to climb up and down every day, I wouldn't trade it for anything because there were so many precious moments of late night talks, freestyle sessions, and tons of sanctification on both ends. I remember one time I went on a 10 day mission trip, and when I came back, Dante was a different man. He started waking up early, making his bed. I don't even make my bed. He was working out, and he was going to counseling. He was just, he was like Samuel. He was growing in favor with the Lord and with men. His faith and prayer life challenges me and encourages me. And Dante, I just want you to know, you've grown so much, brother, in these past several months. And I feel confident in you taking McCall's hand uh, in marriage. And McCall, I know you're gonna I know you're a woman of God just by simply looking at your Bible and seeing all the all the notes you take and all the highlight marks. Um, you're gonna be a great wife that Dante needs. And so Heinz, welcome to the married life. Let's give it cheers. <laughs>